name is Ben Borstein. I'm on the technical support team here at Spectre Watermakers Catadyne Desalination. Today I'm going to go over how to change uh, the check valve port O-rings on your Clark pump. The check valve port O-rings are usually the first O-rings to uh, fatigue and cause a leak in your Clark pump from just natural wear and tear. We put a lot of torque on these bolts, so um, that's uh, expected. People will call in and they'll say, I'm leaking water out of the bottom of my Clark pump. I've seen videos where there's little bubbles coming out of here. Uh, these are, this is the cylinder right here. The check valve port O-rings cover these two ports right there. And so it's a really easy fix. You don't actually have to um, dismount the Clark pump like this one is here. You can leave it on your system if you can. Uh, if you can. The high pressure fittings on the back here, you know, are connected to your stainless steel tubes or your tubing, to your membrane. If you can leave those, that's great because those are um, can be finicky getting those uh, getting those high pressure fittings back. But pretty much, we're just going to um, leave it here, and, and I'll start on installing. So first, I'm just going to break the torque here with my Allen. Now, if your Clark pump's less than, I don't know, three or four years old, you could probably just get in here with just the port seals. If it's older than four or five years, you might want to have replacement seals for here, because anytime you lift off a block, the O-rings might be flat, and you might actually be dealing with a secondary leak once you put them back together. So once you take this off, there's about five things that you don't want to lose in your boat. Um, so there's a spacer ring here. There's an O-ring around there. I'm gonna leave it there. There's an O-ring right there. And there's two O-rings at the bottom here. One's stuck on here. Let me set that down right there. It's off to the side. Um, now, the reason I took this off is because your feet here make it hard to pull off the cylinder. So with this, you'll be able to lift up off it. So now, again, I'm just gonna break the seals here with the wrench. These ones are actually pretty loose. French. <laughs> Might splash water all over you. Um, and then these O-rings, a lot of times they get stuck on here, and same with this, uh, with the seal right here. Um, this one's actually broken off inside here, but this typically goes right here. As far as this mating to this surface, you've got the um, cylinder O-ring and then the two check valve port O-rings there. So these, a lot of times, they'll be white and brittle, or like I said, on the bottom of that, but um, these are the O-rings in question here. I just gotta kinda get them off there. We got two new ones here. We got our Molly Coat 111 silicone grease. Any food grade silicone grease will work. Um, you can always grease up your, your O rings just for a better seal. I per do these ones particularly because it's on a vertical surface, so I can just stick them right back on there and they stay in place. Stick that one. And then I'm going to need another cylinder O-ring. A little bit of grease on that. And over the top. We reinstall in reverse order. check I can use um, my silicone grease again to kind of stick some of the stuff on the side here Just get that spacer ring right there this little o-ring we've got our one two three four five plus the spacer five including the spacer I'm just gonna put this back on You don't want to 
to over tighten these ones too much. Don't hammer them down because it's just the plastic in there. So, um, you know, we usually, we have a setting on the drill here, but hand tight's good. Every drill is different for the most part. Nice and snug. Yeah. Okay. So then you would do the same thing on the other side. Um, you know, I didn't hammer these ones down too much, but you know, once we're done, we actually, here at the factory, we do two at a time on the opposite sides. We really get these down. These ones are still tight on this side, but we'll go around in the same cross pattern and we'll use two wrenches and we'll hammer them down as tight as we can, really. Um, there's the brass inserts in there, so you're not gonna break these fittings. But once you do that, you're good to go and you should be leak-free. Mm -hmm.